Can billions of dollars make up for the thousands of lives lost to the opioid epidemic? The answer, obviously, no. But the billions being offered to thousands of cities and states in a deal with Purdue Pharma may also not cover the financial cost the crisis has put on them. Bob Jones shows us how some communities will never fully recover from all that despair. Extremely frustrating and devastating to a community. Public Health Commissioner Donna Scota says the numbers in Summit County alone are alarming. More than 10,000 overdoses since 2007, 623 fatal ODs over 10 years, and according to a Drug Enforcement Administration database, 212 million opioid doses dispensed from pharmacies between 2006 and 2012. But I've never in my entire career seen the availability of prescription opiates as high as it has been in the last three to four years. Oxycontin maker Purdue Pharma is one of the companies accused of fueling the opioid crisis. A potential settlement calls for Purdue to pay $12 billion to about 2,000 cities and counties hit hard by the epidemic. We have written probably four to five million in federal grants to help us combat this. News 5 has confirmed Summit County would receive $13.2 million and Akron would get $3.7 million under the proposed settlement with Purdue. But some say that won't even begin to undo the damage left behind by the opioid crisis in the Akron area. That includes Tug Massa, the founder of Akron Say No to Dope. People lost lives. People lost, you know, their loved ones and it just, Children are without parents. Parents are without children. And it, that's, there's no amount of money that could ever fix that. Still, Massa believes some drug makers need to be held accountable. They overprescribe. Um, they push the doctors to overprescribe. And deadly overdoses remain a major worry in Summit County, already more this year than all of last year. We're at 115 deaths. Skoda agrees settlement money won't repair the opioid damage, but hopes it would be used for education, prevention, and more sober living housing. It may help mitigate the damages and help individuals continue to be sober and help them stay sober, but it won't take away the addiction that resulted from all of that use. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.